In the last decade, the universe has become both more wondrous and more baffling. A combination of ground and space-based telescopes, such as the Twin Keck telescopes in Hawaii and the Hubble telescope in orbit, have allowed us to look back over 12 billion years to a time when the universe was still young. The WMAP satellite has peered even further, collecting the faint radiation left over from just after the universe began some 13.7 billion years ago. These observations have confirmed beyond reasonable doubt the Big Bang hypothesis of our cosmic origins, but have also produced startling surprises and generated unexpected new questions. Among the surprises, most of the matter in the universe is not what stars and planets and people are made of, but is invisible and undetectable except by its gravitational pull. But what is dark matter and what was its role in allowing the first stars to blaze into life? Surprise number two. The universe isn't just expanding, but expanding at an ever accelerating rate pushed apart by a mysterious force called dark energy. What is dark energy? Is it a constant pressure generated by the vacuum of space itself, akin to the cosmological constant invented by Einstein only to be later discarded by him? Or is dark energy changing as the universe evolves? Surprise number three, planets are commonplace meaning that among the trillions of stars in the cosmos must be billions of planets. How do planets form around stars? And most tantalizing of all, are there other Earth-like planets capable of supporting some kind of life? Today, astronomers are planning a new generation of ground and space-based telescopes to peer farther out and farther back in time than ever before. On a remote sheep station in Western Australia, a radio telescope is being built that will look the deepest. When completed, the Mylura Wide Field Array will image the infancy of the universe when the first galaxies gathered themselves together, which we can't see with our optical telescopes because a shroud of hydrogen atoms hides them from us. With a light gathering capacity nine times greater than the Keck telescopes, the planned 30-meter telescope has as one of its goals peering back to when the universe emerged from these cosmic dark ages and stars began to shine. The giant Magellan telescope will also seek out the first light objects, testing the reality of simulations suggesting that tiny fluctuations in the density of dark matter attracted the gas that eventually collected into the first galaxies. The South Pole Telescope will scan the southern sky for minute blips in the cosmic microwave background that reveal giant clusters of galaxies. These clusters are among the youngest structures in the universe, having taken many billions of years to bulk up their enormous mass. Studying them may reveal more about how the pull of dark matter and the push of dark energy have battled it out over the eons. The Large Synoptic Survey Telescope will measure the entire sky deeply, rapidly, and continuously, opening a movie-like window on objects that move or change. Its unprecedented images will trace billions of remote galaxies. It will also measure the distortions in these images produced by dark matter and further provide tests of the nature of dark energy. The Atacama Large Millimeter Array, a radio telescope to be built in the high desert of Chile, will study the cool universe, the molecular gas and dust that are the building blocks of everything else. Among its targets are the disks of dust that swirl around many stars and from which planets form, a process obviously critical to our existence but about which little is known. Finding planets is the goal of many of the next generation telescopes. So far, some 250 planets have been discovered circling other suns, and the number is likely to rise exponentially in the next few years. In addition to the giant telescopes we've already mentioned, the European Extremely Large Telescope with an astonishing 42-meter diameter mirror and the James Webb Space Telescope, the successor to the Hubble and due to launch in 2013, 
will both have planet hunting among their primary missions. The hope is that they'll find out what the planets are made of, whether they have water, atmosphere, oceans, even telltale signs of life. From the birth of the first stars through the formation of the first galaxies, the mysterious roles of dark matter and dark energy in shaping cosmic evolution, all the way to the origin of planets, perhaps even to the origin of life. The story of our universe is waiting to be told.